Hey, I'm Jay, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning into another video, and if you're new here, welcome. So let's just get into this hair update on this hair. So I got this wig from Amazon, I ordered it from a company called Pizzazz Hair. I have Amazon Prime, so it came in two days, it may have been three days, I don't really remember, but it was not long at all. I didn't need to contact customer service or anything for this wig, so that was great. So let's get into this hair, the longevity of this hair. I think this wig would last about three to six months. As you can see, this is all of the hair of the wig pull forward. And this wig is um, thin. It is kind of thin. Um, so I think it would last about three to six months. It is a curly hair wig and it is my first long curly hair wig. So I don't really know how much maintenance this is gonna require. But um, I think I could, I could make it last longer than that. But I think, generally three to six months for this wig so the price of this wig this wig was 182 on amazon and um yeah it's 182 on amazon so when i get further into the review you know you can decide if that's a reasonable price for this wig the color is a natural hair color 1b so um i haven't dyed it i don't intend on dyeing this wig uh, but it is 1B. Now, can this wig take heat? I have only used heat on this wig to open up the part a bit with my flat comb, and it didn't burn. It didn't have a bad smell or anything like that. It was perfectly fine, so this wig can take heat. I honestly don't plan on straightening this wig. Um, maybe when I see that this wig is on its last limbs, I'll go ahead and straighten it, but right now, I don't have any intention of actually straightening the wig but it can take heat. The texture of this wig is wavy. It's a deep wave wig. So that's the texture of it. And it has these um, beautiful curls in it. This is what the hair looks like. It's really pretty um, curl pattern, super cute. The way I got it to look like this is just by using my Denman brush and brushing it um, while it had a little bit of water and conditioner in it. And then just taking, separating the hair um, in the morning once it's like dry. The density. So the density of this wig, it's 150% density. And this is all of the hair pulled forward. I do think it is a little too thin. Um, I would like it to be a bit thicker, honestly. So I think it is a bit thin. And like I said, one of the reasons I said that this would last about three to six months is because it, because it is so thin. Curly hair naturally is going to shed. So I think that is around the ballpark of how long it will last. But again, 150% density for this wig. And this is how much hair it is. The cap construction of this wig, this is a 13 by four lace front wig. And the frontal of this wig is very short. So this is the frontal. This is how far the frontal comes right here. And then the hair is down here. So that is a big difference in length. And it's a bit hard to make the hair work and to make the hair look good. So that's why, um, at least when it's dry, if it's wet, I think it'll all blend, but I haven't worn this wet yet. But um, dry, yeah, you'll have these really short frontal pieces right here and then the rest is down here if you order the length I ordered which is 22 inches so the next part of this review is is this true to length I think it is true to length I haven't actually got out my tape measure and measured it but um, stretching it it comes down to here so wait can you yeah here it is down to here so I think it is pretty long pretty true to length so I would say that it is true to length now the shedding this hair it honestly doesn't shed a lot which is surprising to me because I did watch a lot of YouTube videos after I had already purchasing this wig saying that it sheds like crazy I haven't experienced that but at the same time I'm not running my hands through the hair all day i i really don't ever touch the hair again until it's nighttime and i'm defining the curls and plopping it up so of course when i'm defining the curls at night and brushing it i do get some strands in my brush but honestly it's not a lot 
it's not anything that's alarming and of course when you brush curly hair it's gonna shed when you brush any hair it's gonna shed so i haven't experienced a ton of shedding with this wig and i did go ahead and bleach the knots so I know that some people say the bleaching and knots like weakens it. So if it's going to shed, it definitely would be doing that because I, I even over bleached the knots. So um, yeah, I haven't experienced a lot of shedding, but at the same time, I'm not constantly running my hair, my hands through this wig and I'm not wearing it wet. Maybe if you wore it wet, I can see how it would you would have a lot of shedding because you would have to keep wetting it to keep that look probably and you would keep running your hands through it but I'm not doing that I literally touch it in the morning when I separate it and at night when I'm clumping it back together so I haven't experienced a lot of shed shedding which is great tangles and matting I experience very minimal tangles no matting at all um when I, I have slept in this wig multiple nights and when I sleep in it, I flip all the hair. I do like the pop wig method, so I flip all the hair over on top of my head, tie a scarf, and then put a bonnet over the rest of it. So I have not experienced any matting. There has been a little bit of tangles at night when I'm detangling the wig, but nothing crazy, nothing that's so alarming. It's not even a lot really. All I need is a little bit of conditioner and water. And I just detangle starting from the bottom, working my way up. I'm very gentle with the hair. So yeah, I haven't experienced a ton of tangles and matting. When I first got this hair, it had a very strong chemical smell, a very strong chemical smell. It didn't smell good at all. So um, that's something that I felt like I should include because nobody wants to get hair and it smells like chemicals, you know, so that it didn't, it didn't smell good when I first got it. But after um, co-washing it and then um, I had to bleach the knots, shampoo it, and then dye it because I over bleached the knots, just dye the like roots and rinse it out with conditioner again. The smell is out. Yeah, the smell's out. So that's good that it came out after all of that. Um, overall, would I recommend this hair? I'd say, oh, something else that I should mention about the, um, the cap construction is that the, the, um, tracks start right here, like right here, there's a track right here. So I have this little piece of hair that I have covering that up. Overall, would I recommend this wig? Yeah, I would recommend it overall. Um, it's very easy to style. It hasn't been causing me a lot of trouble. Um, there has been so many days when I even like neglected it. I just took it off of my head, didn't even detangle it or nothing, and will come back the next day and it hasn't matted up. It hasn't been terribly tangled or anything like that. The only downside to this wig, the two downsides for me to this wig, is that the frontal is really thin the frontal ends here and because I got the 22 inches it ends down here and it's it's thin um, so I would like it to be a bit thicker um, but honestly the wig is super it's beautiful it looks really good on me I think it's very cute and um, yeah I do like the wig I will continue to wear this wig this is this is I've worn this wig the most consecutively out of all of my wigs because I, I don't sleep in wigs but I've been able to sleep in this one because I have a satin wig cap on. So overall yes I would recommend this wig. On a scale of 1 to 10 I give this wig an 8.9 so it's it's not a 9 it's definitely not a 10 but I give it an 8.9 only because the only two drawbacks that I have is the short frontal but if you're going to get a wig that's um 14 or 16 inches it probably looked really cute um really cute like that and it's just a little thin yeah, that is it for my overall review of the wig i only had this wig for about a week so i will go ahead and give you guys a, an update when i've had it maybe for a month or whenever the next update is um it'll be longer and i'll definitely give you guys an update on how this wig has held up 
and yeah, that's the end of this um, update on this wig from Pizzazz Hair. I'll have all the information on the wig below. I'll have the link down below. I will also have my install video and the, um, in the description box down below. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have something to say, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.